What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 20th, I believe, JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about a while loop. But before I begin, I just want to tell you guys, if my voice squeaks or if I stop talking, like if I'm in the middle of a sentence and I just suddenly stop talking, that's because like my voice is like giving out. Like I can be in the middle of a sentence and my lips will still be moving but nothing's coming out. So I got this like mucus phlegm in my throat and it's no predicting what it does. So it's not my microphone, it's not your speakers, it's just my annoying raspy voice. So you guys just got to deal with it I guess. I apologize. But anyways, let's go ahead and learn about this stupid thing called a while loop. Go ahead and, um, well let me say this first of all. A while loop is basically the same as a for loop. All loops are pretty much the same. They do a certain bit of code over and over and over again until you tell it to stop. So why use a while loop and why use a for loop? Well, they're just set up a little bit different. The syntax is a little bit different. I think a while loop is a little bit easier to understand. Um, some people like for loops, and they're going to come across different situations where you can only use one or the other. But anyways, that's my little introduction, you know, the history of the while loop. So let's go ahead. And the first thing that we need is a counter variable to keep track of how many times this loop actually loops. So x equals 1. We'll start it at 1, just like you know we did with the for loop. So now the syntax for a while loop is pretty simple. It's a while, and then you have in here, how long do you want the loop to last? Ooh. So let's go ahead and put x is less than 10. So this is pretty much going to loop this bit of code so long as x stays less than 10. So now we can either increment it by like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. So now let's just give a go ahead and give it some simple code to write out. So document dot write. And actually what we can do is we can print out the value of the uh, I don't know, the variable, I guess, the counter variable right there, so we can actually see it. That might be a little easier to understand. And now let's go ahead and add some text like, how do you like them apples? First person who can tell me what movie's that from gets uh, gets my respect. There, you know, I'm, I'm not really giving you anything worth of value, just my worthless respect. So anyways, so the basics is this. We start at 1, and we're going to loop as long as it's less than 10, but you're saying, all right, Bucky, well, our variable is just going to be stuck at 1 the whole time, so this is going to keep repeating forever. Well, if we ran it like this, then yes, it would keep repeating forever. That's why we need to increment x slowly. So let's go ahead and add 1x each time by using that shortcut we learned, x++. And now let's go ahead and save it, run it, and see what happens. Actually, let me add a space right there, and there we go. So it says, how do you like them apples nine different times? So check it out. We started at one, so that's why our loop started at one. If we started at six, it would start at six, but we didn't. We started at one, so the first time x was equal to one, it ran the bit of code. The next time x was equal to two, ran the bit of code. And it did this all the way down until it got to nine. x equals nine, I'm gonna run this bit of code. Now the next time after this, x actually changed to 10. So then this while loop took a look at it and says, all right, is 10 less than 10? No, 10 is not less than 10. 10 is equal than 10 is equal to 10. So therefore, I'm not going to run this bit of code because you only told me to run it when it's less than 10. So that is why you don't see 10, how do you like them apples, 11, 12, 13, or anything like that. That's why it stopped at 9. So anyways, that's the basics of the while loop. Again, it's pretty much the same as the for loop in these examples. The only difference is instead of having this and this and this all in the parentheses right here, they're kind of spaced out and I kind of like it this way. It makes it easier to see, keep track of your variables and uh, keep track where you're incrementing. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. Um, Yeah, sorry, I wish I had some more valuable information, but I'm probably going to go take a mucinex and cough up guys let me say this for those of you guys who want to be grossed out listen to the rest of the tutorial but for those of you guys who are just here for javascript education and for the information i'm not going to say any information so you can move on to the next tutorial but so that's your warning but for you guys who stuck around let me tell you this all right this morning <laughs> this morning i was like coughing and coughing and 
I, like nothing was coming out. You know how like the phlegm is just stuck in your throat and it's annoying that you can't get it out no matter how hard you cough. So I took a Mucinex DM because that kind of loosens stuff up. And then about 30 minutes later, I like sucked in like, and I coughed like as hard as I can in this huge glob. It was like the size of two grapes of it looked. <laughs> It looked like oatmeal, and I don't know where in my body it came from, but it was the most disgusting looking thing coughed up into my sink. <laughs> so, I mean, I shouldn't have even told you guys, but hey, I warned you. So, anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and listening to my story. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.